Hi, I'm Chelsea. And I'm Tony. And welcome to our portfolio review that's brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to make your professional website or portfolio. If you want 10% off, go to squarespace.com slash Tony and put on the coupon to coupon code. Portfolio. Yeah. Portfolio. Uh, let's get started. What yeah, first I want to say uh, I made a checklist because we've been going through portfolios and we see a lot of the same stuff. So uh, you can... Download this from our website. Just go to sdp.io slash portfolio checklist. Sounds good. And uh, you'll be able to download it there and print it out, and you'll just see all the common stuff that we're going to go through. Um, up first, we have... Tergia. I looked that up. What's his last name? Brenzhjel. Uh, wow. Do you think that sounds right? I just <laughs> I made it know. up, and if it's right, I should get points or something. We did look up Tergia. Tergia. Probably so wrong, but we're, we're trying. We're trying. All right, so uh, Terry seems to have kind of a fine art portfolio here, which mm -hmm. we judge by a little bit different criteria uh, than we would a uh, portfolio, uh, rather a portrait photography portfolio where you're trying to sell services. He probably is trying to sell prints, though. Uh, so make sure his contact information is there. Uh, I went to the contact page. First, it's a form. There's no email there. And... I saw somebody on Twitter said that if they go to your website and you just have a form and you don't have an email address, it's like you saying F you to them. <laughs> it's a little insulting. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a real pain. And, you know, as long as you have a good mail provider, I just use Gmail, you won't have to worry about spam because they'll filter that stuff out anyway. I mean, yeah, your email address gets picked up by spam bots, but I literally never see any spam because Gmail is good at filtering it out. And my email address has been out for more than a decade Oh, and CAPTCHA too. Oh my God, just just put your email address there. But um, this is your contact page. It's a good place for a picture of you and about uh, a little bio about you. That's here in the checklist, so check that out. Checklist. I also want to say the user interface of the website became inconsistent. I clicked contact and the links went from the bottom up here to the top. And it's very disorienting because now suddenly I need to like learn a whole new user interface. Yeah, learn so, to re-navigate the page. Yeah, keep your navigation consistent throughout the website. I know you're using a standard template in some portfolio provider who's not Squarespace. Uh, could be better. You want to take a look at his landscapes real quick? Yeah, yeah. Holy cow, look at the Aurora Borealis. They're beautiful, yeah. Um, I like the way that works. You have good thumbnails. Uh, it pops up real quick. I like that they're full screen. Easy um, to view. These first two pictures both had the title untitled. See that? Um, that's not great. Either don't show a title or give it a title. Oh, beautiful pictures, Taya. Wow. I'm so jealous. I really want to see some Aurora Borealis. Great moon. Might want to take out that uh, moon flare there. Wow. Look at that waterfall. Really nice. Got a little mist on the lens. I don't mind that. Beautiful landscape shots. Great self-portrait, too. Oh, is that a self-portrait? I, I think so. I presume. Okay, so a couple of these could use crops. Um, you know, this is a great wildlife portrait. Beautiful, brilliant colors, perfect detail. Um, and it's good that I think that might be your best one. You put it first. This one clearly doesn't hold up. I don't think it's it not makes nearly the, as good as the, the first cut. one. Yeah, it needs a crop. He's, you know, you're violating the rule of space there, and it's just kind of small. It's violating it. That makes it sound so bad. Yeah, have some respect for the rule of space. Um, we have a lot of puffins here. I'd oh, probably nail so it down cute. to one puffin picture. It's like a golden eagle, a white-tailed eagle. Okay. Mm. These have titles. That's good. Yeah. His beautiful pictures. So, so I would just the wildlife my rule. Like narrow one it down picture per species. per species. Yeah. Just put your best one up. I broke that rule on my own portfolio. Beautiful so, moose. Hypocrite. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's you have me with that first moose picture. Yeah, you can just pare then, it down. Like this picture. This picture has everything this picture has, except it's better, it's stronger, I think. And then we just see other moose pictures that aren't as good. So yeah, just narrow it down. What's this? Oh, environmental. I don't... 
necessarily see how that differs from landscape. You might consider just combining that in with the landscape since you only have four pictures in there. Especially that one or, or by Alice. Okay. Candid pictures. This seems like too many of one maybe person. Maybe not ready for a whole category here yet. Yeah. Because, yeah, these three pictures, these two, I think, are the exact same picture. Not quite. They're similar, yeah. Yeah. Pick one of this guy, and then if you want something else, too. But I, at this point, you might want to wait until you build up some more candid pictures before you make a whole category for it. Monochrome. What do you think, Chelsea? If you have black and white pictures of the same subjects that you have categories for, should you break out the black and white pictures into a different category? Um, well, the first thing that struck me were that there were wildlife pictures, but they're not as strong as his other wildlife pictures. Yeah. So I would just get them out of there. Especially because I think that these pictures, especially this one, is so much stronger. Yeah, I like that picture. Um, Got a little speck of dust there or something. Yeah, you want to clean stuff up, make sure it's perfect before you put it in your portfolio. But yeah, maybe we can combine these monochrome pictures into some other categories and just simplify. This is a lot of attention, you know, six different categories. You might want to narrow that down a little bit. People aren't very patient. I'm not very patient. Okay. I, that's a little confusing because the menu appears here, but I can't click it. So I guess I have to go... Oh, so you have to go back. Back to gallery first. All right, I'll go to Cityscape. Let's see his last category. Oh, so this looks like the same picture that was in black and white, too. Yeah, I would just pick which one. I don't think you need to make a separate monochrome category. All right, so how can we buy his prints? Because some of those Aurora Borealis prints were awesome. That's nothing. There's no sword. Uh, I don't know. Well, I do know that 500 Pixels lets you sell stuff. Yeah. Um, Squarespace does, too. And, in fact, they built it into all their portfolios now. So that's something to consider. I would love to see you have a store there. Uh, might not sell a lot, but it's nice to have the option, right? Yeah. Okay. Right, ready to move on? Yeah, Anything else you want to say? No, but I liked his portfolio. Just um, No music. It all generally works yeah. pretty well. All right. Giant, Giant and, and friends. friends. I like their name. I like their logo. Yeah, something we need to think about is the, the URLs that you choose. And Giant and Friends is a good one because it's catchy, it's easy to remember, and I bet if you Google it, it'll pop right up. So let's check out the Wi-Fi. I'm just putting it here so I can get it in focus. Uh, rather the, the mobile capabilities of this. And we can see that it looks just beautiful in mobile. So good work there. Good. It works on mobile. That's the most important yeah. thing. Uh, this is clearly a professional portfolio site. He's trying to sell services. Here we are first. Okay. I think that looks good. Yeah. We like to see a picture, and that's close enough. <laughs> we know what they look like. We know that they're people. Explains the name of the website a little bit. Check their contact page. Um, they don't have their names. That's true. I think they did on the Who We Are, but they oh, do have an true. email address yeah. and a telephone number, so that's good, yeah, as well that as the form. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, so yeah, Doreen and there. Jack. All right, that's, that's pretty good. good. Now we have sensible categories over here. Glad to see that. Babies, wedding, personal. Babies. Oh, cute babies. We see nice thumbnails right away. Uh, 7, 11, 12, 13 pictures. That's a good choice. Yeah, I like that there's a lot of diversity in the pictures, too. They don't all look the same. Different environments. Right, who do you like the best? Which picture do I like the best? Yeah, where should we dig in? Um, I don't, I'm attracted to this one. Okay. So these are super cute pictures. Yeah, I love the little story they told about her up in the corner. Did you see that? Yeah. She's a quiet really nice. one, but not the shy, introverted kind that likes to hide in the corner. She's more of a ninja. <laughs> oh, these are nice wedding pictures, too. Yeah. There's my scroll there. They look fun and they look inviting. If I were looking to have my wedding photographed and I came here, I'd think, wow, I'd, I'd want my wedding day to be captured like that. So they presented them in a nice way. This thumbnail isn't working out. Yeah, one of the items right here on our checklist is, uh, are the thumbnails eye-catching? And sometimes a great picture turns into a terrible thumbnail. In that case, it's not good for your portfolio. Um, or you need to find a way to crop it so that the thumbnail looks a little more appealing. That is a really nice picture. 
but it's not going to be good in your portfolio unless it makes a good thumbnail. Um, Did they, they like have the this diversity. one wedding? Was it one wedding? It does look like just one wedding, right? Mm. And in that case, you want to try to get as much diversity as possible. You want to, Otherwise, people will be like, this person shot one wedding. I don't really trust them. Personal. You think these are their family pictures? Um, no, that says it's an orphanage. I think maybe by personal, they just mean the pictures that they're taking for fun or they weren't hired to do them. I, I don't, I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, this looks like street photography. I think that's okay. I'm usually against kind of putting up personal pictures on a maybe instead website, of personal, like I'd these. say fine art, something like that. Yeah, maybe because I thought personal would be their family pictures, or I wasn't quite sure what that meant. All right, and they have a blog, and it's up to and date. It's up to date. <laughs> Yay! Okay, that's great. And the links aren't broken. All right, nicely done. You want to give them a like? They were on Justin's computer, so Justin, Justin now likes Giant and Friends. You like them now. <laughs> Uh, good work. Did we end up giving them any suggestions? No, their website was really nice. It had yeah. a good, clean design. Nice it was to easy to navigate. Mobile friendly. You nailed it. Yeah, you nailed it. Check plus. They should give me tips on my portfolio. <laughs> Jonathan yeah. Choi photography. Let's see. Creating lasting images one shot at a time. No, create lasting okay. images one shot at a time. The first thing I noticed is that there are two menus, one on the bottom and one on the side, and they're different. Yeah, that's that's a no-no. We want to keep it nice and simple. Just have one menu. Bottom or side, both are okay. Yeah. Um, oh. oh, okay. So the menu we saw on the bottom was the menu under portfolio. Oh. So these are the landscapes. Yeah, you might just have that expand by default if you can. That would make more sense to me. Yeah, than oh, that looks right. It looks better expanded. Good thinking. I knew there was a reason I liked you. Okay, those look fine. Maybe maybe a few less, especially since a lot of them are similar. They're kind of stealing the attention from each other because they're so similar. Like, especially these two. Yeah, those two look really Just similar. pick a few of your best because... I don't think people's attention spans are very long. It, yeah, it kind of looks like you had just one day at the beach because this is the exact same spot. Right? The same rocks there. So get rid of this one better. We got the sun and the bird. So oh yeah, this one. is the same. It looks like the same place too. Yeah, so narrow that down a bunch. Sydney. Oh. These are nice. Very different. They're buildings, trains, the opera house. Uh, this is a really strong picture. I'd actually put that higher up. And I would pare it down a bit because you want to just keep your very strongest pictures in your portfolio. Yeah, I think some of these could be weeded out too. There's not too many necessarily, but okay. Um, fireworks is an interesting category. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, these Those are, are quite glorious some fireworks. fireworks. Um, he has light painting in there too. Yeah. That's cool. Though a lot of these firework pictures look, look similar. Exactly Again. the same. Just pick one of these. You might even try to, like, if this is in Sydney, you might just group it in with the Sydney. Um, so what I'm gathering is that this is, like, a fine art. Or yeah. He's not trying to sell portraiture or sell any kind of service. No, yeah. He's just showing off his work. Yeah, it looks good. It's a good, good reason to have a portfolio. I think so. These are too similar. Just one of each flower would be good. But I think it's also nice just to have a portfolio for yourself sometimes. You, you're always replacing your pictures and you're seeing your progress. And it's a good exercise. It's a good way to grow. Yeah, that's how you keep track of your high score, right? Yeah, that's kind of what I do. Oh, motor, I love cars. And these are all really nice shots. Yeah, those are all good shots. Good diversity. Okay. Concert. Cool, great concert photos. I see Alicia Keys, some other people that I don't know, but great shots. Yeah, those are nice. All oh, right, so he's, he's got a store and he's selling prints. Um, that's great. That's one of the things that we look for in a fine art uh, portfolio is something you can actually sell. 
Check out his blog. It's up to date. Oh, I got one of those too. I haven't put it together yet, but I want to. <laughs> the about page. Oh, he has a picture of him. Is that probably a picture of himself? So yeah, probably. Cool yeah, action at work. shot. It looks dangerous. Contact me. Let's see what happens. Oh, that takes you to the contact page. I bet. All right. Just a form. No email address. You know what we say about that? Oh well. Oh, look. there's. Maybe. Yeah, you've got your email link right there anyway, so you might as well just put it here, make it a little more prominent, because that would be really difficult to for somebody to spot. Uh, so Jonathan's homework, just pare down that portfolio. Yeah, pare it down. Try to have less similar pictures, but your pictures look great. Just choose your favorite ones and put your email. I guess that was the only other thing we had. All right, who's next? Dorian. Uh, maybe we should take a minute and talk about our sponsor. Whoa, did you see that, guys? <laughs> that was pretty good. Shot this uh, back of the pen right off. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Squarespace. The all-in-one platform. Is it? Yes. Is that the all-in-one platform? For... Yeah, that's the one that you're thinking of. And it's like fast and easy, and you can make your professional page or your portfolio. Is that the one? That one. I think I know how to get 10% off there. Wow, you have is to that dance. impossible? Dancing? Yep. <laughs> no, go to squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code. Portfolio. Yep, 10% off. Yeah, and it's actually really easy to set up. Um, you just really drag your pictures in. Well, you just set yours up the other week. How, what did you think of the process? Just drag and drop. But you're like a computer genius, right? Why do we even have to go there? I think people know I'm not a computer genius. <laughs> but you know all about HTML and databases oh, and yeah. stuff? Mm -hmm. E-commerce. Mm -hmm. All of that. Credit card payments. Definitely. No, but it's drag and drop. Um, and it was easy. One thing that I do have to do is go in and look at more of the designs because I was kind of in a hurry. And uh, I started looking through them and I realized they're way better designs than the one that I chose so yeah they have more than a dozen different designs and all of them can be fine-tuned to perfection you can change any aspect of it and if yeah. you do happen to know HTML you can go in and tweak it to your heart's content and make it exactly what you want but if you're like Chelsea and you don't know HTML it doesn't matter because well, you, you can Chelsea. just pick colors and drag them in I I'm just saying I didn't need any help I didn't even need your help I know they have 24 seven support, but I didn't need any of that. I just was dra like dragging and dropping pictures yeah. like crazy. Photographers um, are artists. Most of them aren't nerds like me. You are And you nerd. don't have to be a nerd. a nerd. You can just be a brilliant artist. You know, the hardest <laughs> thing was is that even though I'm giving all of these people this advice, like paring down the pictures that I was gonna put in there was really hard. I liked so many pictures and yeah, there were just too many. Things, yeah. I got a second opinion actually. I, I brought Tony over and he gave me some advice, but yeah, other than that, it was easy. Oh, and the about page is really difficult. Yeah, like, writing your own bio. You got to get somebody else to write your bio, I think. Really? Yeah, it, it's hard to talk about yourself in the third person. I didn't want to talk about myself in the third person. That's a, that seemed ridiculous. Yeah, it's like Chelsea is a brilliant landscape and portrait photographer. <laughs> it felt real cheesy. Growing up as a genius. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, but yeah, you notice as we go through the portfolio, one of the things we're saying is too many pictures, too many duplicate pictures, and yeah. that is painful because you love all these pictures and you know you just have to cut them out. And it's like it's hard. throwing your babies in the trash. I wouldn't know that feeling. <laughs> and I will not, say one thing hard. I do like about Squarespace having a bunch of different options for design is that I've noticed for some of these sites, it's the same. Like I, I'll know the web design because I've seen other websites like that and it looks kind of cheesy. Yeah, the first website, Terry Hayes, you're, you're going to see Chris Greenwood yeah, later. Yeah. Terry, yeah, sorry. <laughs> His portfolio looks exactly like Chris Greenwood's because they went to somebody besides Squarespace <laughs> and they just picked the standard template and it's a nice template. Yeah. But so many people are going to have that exact same template. And even if you pick the same template as somebody at Squarespace, you can tweak it and make it your own by adjusting all the colors and even elements of the design. Everything yeah. is controllable and it's easy. That is easy. Easier than any other website I've used. So thank you, Squarespace. If you'd like a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, go to squarespace.com and use the offer code portfolio. Or you can dance. Dancing is optional. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dorian. You want to give that last name a shot? 
Pinot Glow? Pinot Glow. <laughs> I don't think his name is Pinot Glow, but let's just get past that. All right, so this is Dorian's About Me section. Yeah, he's got a picture of himself that's good. He's got some words. Yeah, it's cool. He has no problem writing about that like me. And he's got a sweet picture of himself. Sweet, you're looking good. Contact me. Let's see what his contact me is about. Ah, oh, no email. Oh, wait, he's got this down there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would just make that more prominent. So his email is accessible, and that's good. But That's cool. Yeah, put it up here so that people don't have to fill out that form. I hate those Because they forms. won't see it. All right, uh, Dorian's portfolio page. He's got cars, beaches. Cars and beaches, am I right? Shoes, Megan. Still life. I've never seen one for just one specific type of shoe before. He should have garden tools so it could be cars, beaches, and hose. <laughs> <laughs> just advice. All right, so these are pictures of some shoes. Which I like because that's different. But I will say, I think he has too many of the same shoes. Yeah, uh, I, I do like that he has shoes though. I would just pick the best picture of any one pair of shoes and put that up. So pair it down a little bit. Uh, I find it weird that we see the picture up here, but then the thumbnails aren't to other pictures in the category. They're to different categories. Yeah. I think I'd rather just see a little menu that just listed the categories up here and then thumbnails for this picture. But I also like to see those pictures bigger. They're kind of small on the screen. Okay. Uh, Automotive. Cars. Nice Mitsubishi. A lot of the same car. It's nice to have some variety. Yeah, it gives me a friend's cars in there. Those are good pictures, though. Yeah, you can wet the pavement. It gives some reflections in your car pictures. Looks cooler. Oh, what is this section? Beach. Beach. Those are nice pictures. These are kind of candid shots. Oh, that's a really nice picture. That's a nice picture too. Yeah, I like this. This that's my favorite category so far. There's a lot of variety. Yeah, those two pictures are very similar. This picture is really strong because it has those two people on the beach. This picture is almost the same, but without the people. So I would drop that picture. You know, go through, make sure you don't have any duplicates. I love that picture. That's such a cool and creative picture. Yeah, that is cool. What's that coming out? That must be Megan. Still life. Oh, I these like are kind of funky and creative, too. Oh, oh, same subject. Keep some variety in there. Just yeah. pick the best picture of that pot and do one. Some bullets. Some bullets, all right. All right. This guy's badass. Some bullets, babes. Better just be nice about his portfolio. I'm not messing with this guy. All right, you want to go on to Chris Greenwood? Yeah, you want yeah. See there? No, it looks good. All right. All right. Our friend Chris, Chris Greenwood, Greenwood in the Reader's Group, his work is just, just remarkable. He has the same portfolio as Terkia. Terkia. Yeah, same format. Yeah. Picture he's of himself, out. that's good. He's got a biography, he's got a map, so I could stalk him if I wanted to. <laughs> I see his email address there, good, no form. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing your face a little bit better. Yeah, you look be really funny. tiny there. Yeah, you see what Jackson look like. Um, I don't know why anybody would want to use this form we hate this if form. you have your email address there. I, so you might just combine those, make it your about and contact. Yeah, sure. Won't suck. Sure. You know, uh, did I mention this before? I find it weird that the pictures are like frosted in the background. Uh, I was just going to say when you open the front page, it has the categories down here, and then when They're you go somewhere, they pop up here. Yeah, that is weird. That's weird, Chris. That's a cool picture of fur. No, oh, he's cute. Oh, he looks... Mountain goat. More mountain goats. I like this. Oh my god, <laughs> really? Heading out on I a date. I can't believe that picture. That is adorable. That's really oh, cute. fantastic, Chris. Oh, a little chipmunk. He's really cute, too. More bears. More bull. Oh, that's just beautiful. Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> so that's cute. Really cute. I love squirrels. Just want to tickle their bellies. Wow, these are great pictures, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel like the number of the pictures is pretty good, Can you too. see them in thumbnails? That's what I was wondering. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So that's okay. nice. Though I know this, we always see the same template, and it's weird that it only covers like half the screen, right? I know. Wouldn't it would be nice if it just kind of expanded it. Yeah, I just, it looks okay. Yeah, it, it's functional. It's good. I like that you can see the thumbnails. It's a minor complaint. Some landscapes. These are nice. Right. Now, you want that first picture to be your best picture, so... I, I do think this is a really strong picture. I love yeah. the, the line here. We have a nice focal point and just a ton of depth. 
I know some of your other pictures have a little more brighter colors, beautiful reflections there, Chris. Just fantastic. Oh, I love that picture too. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, that's classic, like Ansel Adams style composition of using mm -hmm. the river yeah, as the a leading lines. line to the background. Just really nice. Beautiful. Um, some of these, the saturation might be getting a little high, don't you think? Yeah, but I think that's kind of the style. You're that's right. kind of like an over the top it's HDR. Good to have a style. Yeah. Yeah. So good pictures. How many of them are there? Let's see. It's a good amount. It's not too many. Fourteen. Yeah, that's right in that sweet spot. Yeah. So we can't complain too much. That's what we want. Feathers. Oh, ospreys. I like that his category names are cute too, like fur and feathers and land. Yeah, I like that too. All right, there's a lot of diversity here. I see a couple of the same kind of chickadee there. Uh, oh, they're actually different species. Okay, so he got me on that one. Got you. <laughs> Beautiful shot. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing that crop down. Hmm. See, if you crop it down, then it will take up more of my screen. That's true. I see what you mean. Oh, he's really cute. So many different species of chickadee. We only get the black capped around here. Yeah. I wouldn't mind a little crop on that, too. It's a matter of taste, but I like to see. I think most people like to see them a little tighter. There's plenty of room to crop there. I remember this picture from the group. Just yeah. fantastic. They are so adorable. They are. I'd say this one isn't as good as his other photos, that one first photo. And this one? Yeah. Untitled. Yeah, you're right. This one doesn't... And pull it, Chris. Yeah. It's bringing down. So that was so much better. The eyes are in focus. Oh, really? It looks like there was a leaf in front of him or something. But you're right. It is definitely a stronger picture. I was just wondering whether it holds up to his other pictures. That's just a great picture. That's beautiful. That one's excellent. Good first and last picture. Yeah, best picture first, second best picture last. And then just mix it up in between. Um, yeah, I think we were suggesting pulling that picture, but I really don't see anything else I would suggest pulling. I think no. anything else is strong. I could do some crops. A little, yeah, a few crops. A little bit of tweaking, but great. Uh, that's our last portfolio for now, but subscribe to see more portfolios. And if you want your own portfolio reviewed, send me an email, Tony at Northwood.org with the URL. Of course, we're going to put it online, so give me permission to do that. And don't forget, we're going to have a checklist as well. So before you even send us your portfolio, you should go through and try to fix a few things. I yeah. Think pretty cool. Uh, and once again, thank you so much to Squarespace, our sponsor. If you want to get your own portfolio and you don't want us complaining about the design and you want to make sure that it works on mobile phones and you want to have a store, squarespace.com slash Good option. And if you decide to sign up, you get 14 days free, no credit card or anything. Try it out. But if you decide to sign up, use the coupon code portfolio and you'll get 10% off. So thanks so much. Give us a like and please share this. Help support us. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank thanks. you. See you next time.